How you doing? Good. Yes, he does. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation, with the mouth I confess today that I have believed the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. I have not always been saved. I was born into this world in 1968. I was born up in the religion of the Roman Catholic Church. I was born up in the Polish reign of the Catholic Church. My great grandparents coming here to America from Poland of the worship of the Roman Catholic Church. I grew up with an aunt that had a mural of Mary and Jesus on her wall. But that couldn't save me. The church couldn't save me. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And yet I would have, when I grow up, I would have a man called the Pope, the head of the church that I grew up. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. I grew up religious, in a church, church attendance, going into the prayer closet with that priest, and nothing could save me with all that mess. I got out of that, got on my own, grew up, got into sin. You say, which sin? I broke the commandments, that's what I did. I broke the number one commandment of all the commandments of the ten. I did not give honor to God. Let's forget about lying. Let's forget about adultery. Let's forget about covering. What about the first commandment? God first, all the time, every time, and before all in all. Never mind two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I couldn't get by commandment number one. But there's a problem with the Catholic Church that I grew up in. Commandment number two was missing. See, I had those idols, those aids to worship, but the Ten Commandments, one of them says, you're not to make graven images or idols. So already have I started off in a religion that has violated the Bible by removing something that they do. That's all the church fathers and tradition overrides the word. And Jesus said, I am the way, the 
quick. I would have died and gone into a place called hell with my religion. Because I had not Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about my personal testimony. But that's the religion I grew up in. That is my life. That is my fact. Eating and drinking Jesus Christ at the Mass, I would have died and gone to hell and be burning in hell today. And I went out in life and I lived the sinner's life. I smoked, I drank, I caroused. And if I would have died, I would have gone to a place where there was no partying. Because my alcohol would have burned up in the flames of hell. My friends would not want my company because they would be in torment as I was been, would have been tormented. In hell without thinking about God. The first commandment. I did not give God the first priority in my life. I gave myself the first priority. Eat, drink, and be merry was my religion as a teenager and growing up. It was all about me, it was for me, all the gusto go for it. And I would have died and gone to hell with that nonsense. Nineteen eighty seven. I don't want to talk all about my sins. I want to talk about the great thing. Nineteen eighty seven. Getting your attention. In 1987, I was invited to a church. I didn't go. I didn't want to go. God was not first in my life. Some of you can recollect that story. I don't want to go to church. I don't want to go there. That's the last place you run. And some of you, I want to make sure when I die, you don't put me in a church. That's good because I'm not here to tell you about a church. I'm here to tell you about Jesus Christ. And I went to church. And if I would have died that afternoon after church, I would have died and gone to hell. As many of you churchgoers will. See, going to church, being a Catholic, that can't save you. For Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. I heard the messages. And the Holy Spirit of God worked on my heart. The Holy Spirit convicted my heart that there was something wrong with my life. And I didn't know. I had no idea. I would tell you to go to hell. But I would soon follow you into hell. April 21st, Saturday afternoon, 1987. 773 Broad Street Extension in Waterford, Connecticut with a Bible and a man named Joe Caswell. Open the pages of the Bible. I wasn't in a religion, I wasn't in a church, I was sitting in a living room. As the Bible was opened, 
And to me was declared to me that I was a sinner, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But I'm good. Open up the pages. There's none good. No, not one. Uh oh. Trouble. I was a sinner and I was no good, according to the Bible. And the Bible says that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. But the only Jesus I knew as of that day was up on the cross, a statue. A Jesus that is still was nailed to the cross. That's the Jesus I do. That's the Jesus that religion taught me. He's still on the cross. He's nailed there. And he comes with the Easter bunny at Easter time. That's what religion told me about Jesus Christ. Well, let me tell you about April 21st, 1987. As the Bible was open, and I heard that Jesus died according to the Scriptures. I knew that. Every Catholic believes Jesus died. All right. That he was buried. I got that one down. And he arose from the grave three days according to the scriptures. And is seated at the right hand of the Father right now. I didn't get that one. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. You see, on April 21st, 1987, I met the biblical Jesus. I knew a Jesus that was nailed to the cross that I ate and drank. But I did not know the Bible Jesus that's sitting on the right hand of the Father right now. I did not know the gospel of Jesus Christ, that he died for my sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And he is seated at the right hand of the Father. For God so loves the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But I still had a problem April 21st. You see, the wages of sin is death. I was going to die. I was going to die in my sins. And I was going to go to hell. Well, I don't want to go to hell. Who wants to burn? Who wants to have torment? I would have, I don't remember completely what happened that afternoon, but I would have to ask something like, what must I do to be saved? I'll tell you what the Bible says. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You see, I left the religion. I have 
had not yet joined another church. I was in a living room. I was a sinner. I was going to hell. I would have burned in hell today and forever. <coughs> Had I not met the biblical Jesus. Now you got to be careful because Paul writes to the Corinth church that there's another Jesus out there. And my saint Jesus, and my Jesus, and this Jesus, you better make sure he's the biblical Jesus Christ. Because Satan has a Jesus too. And Jesus warned us in his ministry, there will be many that will come in his name. Acts 20.28 20, says that God shed his blood for my sins. Those sins were paid upon Calvary's tree when Jesus bled for me. So that blood that was on Calvary, according to Acts 20.28, 20, that's God on the cross. And the Romans nailed him to that cross. So April 21st, 1987, I came to a place called Calvary. And I stood at that cross and saw Jesus. I don't mean I saw him. But I came to Calvary and there was Jesus on the cross suffering and dying for me. Just like the Roman Catholic Church, but that's not it. That's not the biblical Jesus. Because in the Bible it says that Jesus, they took him down off the cross and they buried him. You Catholics wear Jesus on your cross, your crucifix, your statues. You've got a one-third Jesus. Yes, he was nailed to that cross. But the scriptures say they took him down. Dead. And they put him in a tomb. And the world celebrated the Passover. While Jesus lay dead in that tomb, the Passover is going on. And yet they missed the message of John the Baptist. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Wait a minute. April 21st, 1987, I was declared as a sinner, for all have sinned. There's a way to get rid of my sins? There's a way to be saved? i got to come to a lamb that was sacrificed by God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but shall have everlasting life. But we went on to see that the third day that stone was rolled away. And two angels sat at that burial place of Jesus as it was at the Ark of the Mercy Seat. And proclaimed the greatest news of all headlines of headlines. He is not here. He is risen. Wow, we just kicked Jesus up a couple notches. A Jesus that was on the cross for my sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And He died. He was buried. And He arose from the grave. Up from 
the grave he arose. No pope or priest has ever done that. No one has ever risen from the grave like Jesus. And after that, he did not go back to the cross because he had one sacrifice and one sacrifice only, the book of Hebrews says. religion, I was sacrificing Jesus every week, every week, every Saturday, every Saturday. I was sacrificing Jesus. Violation of the book of Hebrews where it says he sat down once after he finished his offering for sin. Calvary happened once. He died once. He arose from the grave once. A complete violation that the church I grew in taught because every Saturday night, every Sunday morning and afternoon, he was the died and you can eat them and dispose of them. Okay. And yet the Bible says that he arose, Acts chapter 1, and went to the Father and is seated alive at the right hand of the Father. So now I had a big trouble April 21st, 1987. I'm a sinner. I'm going to hell. And I just met the real Jesus. That I'd never met before. I'm in big trouble. Because there's nothing I can do to be saved. For by grace are you saved, not of works, least any man should boast. But the Bible doesn't leave you at death, thank God. For the wages of sin and I was a sinner. is death. I was and will die. You will die also. And you are a sinner. Romans 6.23 does not end there. For the gift of God for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The gift of God is eternal life. When you die, there is an afterlife according to the Bible. When you die, you can go to hell or you can go to heaven. Most of us wants to go to heaven. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Well, see, I had a problem April 21st, 1987. I knew the wrong Jesus. I did not know the Jesus that is seated at the right hand of the Father today. The Jesus I knew was nailed to a cross by a religion. So, I'm a sinner. I'm going to die, and according to Jesus and Matthew, I am going to go to hell. I was not to fear my priest, but I was the one to fear the one who will take my soul and cast it into hell, Matthew chapter 10. Well, 
if I got a problem with God now with my sin, I've got to make God happy. I've got to please God. And I can't do it by works. What do I do? What do I do with this biblical Jesus I met? There's nothing I can do with my sins. I am left as a dying thief, condemned, and going to a place called hell. See, the Bible says in John chapter 3, He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. I was condemned, because I had not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believed in a Jesus, but not the Lord Jesus Christ. For the gift of God is the Lord Jesus Christ, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. I had a Jesus, but I didn't have the Lord Jesus Christ. So what do I do? What do you do? You come to Jesus, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. You come to the one that can take your sins and wash them. You see, God comes and offers to you salvation. The Bible says in Isaiah 1.18, Come now, I came to hear. Let us reason together. Brother Caswell had an open Bible and was showing me what the Scripture said. There was no programming. There was no television. It was an open Bible. Say the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. On that afternoon, I asked God, I said, God, what must I do to be saved? I don't want to go to hell. I try to be good. I try to go to church. I try to think about this Jesus. Oh, I failed. And I failed miserably. And I knelt down at a coffee table and said, Lord, what must I do to be saved? And the scripture said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. I knelt down at that coffee table and I said, well, I don't know what I said, but Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm undone. I'm unclean. I can't do it. This Bible says that everything that needs to be done has been done by Jesus. For Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. April 21st, 1987, I got on the way. I got off the highway of hell. And came into the way that led me to the cross of Jesus Christ. I stood there at the cross, and Jesus said, I'm the truth. Do you believe it?
<laughs> yes. And Jesus, there is nothing I can do. I'm, I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I know that's one thing I kept praying. I don't want to go to hell. I hate pain. <laughs> and at that cross, I knelt down on my knees. I said, Lord Jesus, save me. On that cross, you shed your blood for my sins. You're the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Take away my sins. Do whatever you have to do. I just believe. And the Holy Spirit brought me to the tomb. It was sealed. I, I can't see Jesus. There's a rock in the way. Lord, I just need to be saved. And while I looked in that tomb and could not see nothing because of the rock, the Lord Jesus Christ is in hell depositing my sins. You see, Jesus is already going to hell for those who will believe on Him. But you will not go to hell. First day of the week, in the morning, that rock has been rolled away. You say, do you see Jesus? Nope. I don't see Jesus at all. I am told He's at the right hand of the Father. He's no longer dead. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I believe, I've got faith in what? That Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father alive, and He's coming for me one day. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ being saved, I were to die right now, or tomorrow, or next week, or next month, or next year, or ten years. When I die, the Bible says to be absent from the body and be present with the Lord. The Lord who? The gift of God. See, the wages of sin is death. I'm still going to die. But the gift of God's eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You see, when I came to Calvary's cross, the way, and I knelt down and asked Jesus to save my soul, I came into the straight gate. The truth. I came to the way, I believed the truth, and now by Jesus Christ, I get the life. Let's review the scriptures again. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. <clears throat> so Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man, oh, wait a minute, I've come by the way, I believe the truth, I have eternal life, no man cometh unto the Father. You mean I, I don't have access to God? No man cometh unto the Father, but, remember that but, for the wages of the sin is death, but the gift of God. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. So by coming to the way, and believing the truth, 
and receiving eternal life, Jesus Christ, I have now access to God the Father. And you can have that access today to God the Father. By believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It's that simple. Jesus Christ came into this world to save sinners. And if you will die, and since you will die, the Bible says, the wages of sin is death, your death shows that you are a sinner, and you need to do something with your sins. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.